this is just another major American corporation trying to destroy the lives of working Americans. And today, you are standing up not just for justice for Verizon workers, you're standing up for millions of Americans who don't have a union. And you're telling corporate America, you're telling corporate America they cannot have it all. That was Bernie Sanders in Brooklyn just moments ago. He caught up with some Verizon workers who were on strike this morning over a contract dispute. The meetup comes just hours after the Vermont senator snagged an endorsement from the transit union workers in New York. Kylie Atwood is our digital journalist traveling with the Sanders campaign. Kylie, your video that we were watching, uh, was this trip to visit the protesters plan? Because it seemed off of what we normally see from Bernie Sanders. Well, Bernie Sanders does this a lot. The bedrock of his um, campaign is standing up for the American workers and standing up against the greed of Wall Street, of big corporations. And so this actually was um, something that uh, Senator Sanders, you know, does, does quite often. He stops by these protests and he tells them that he understands what it's like to be on the picket lines because he's done it himself. Kylie, we should tell our viewers, you're in a little uh, the press vehicle that follows Bernie Sanders uh, all over the city, wherever he goes. Um, and so that's uh, what we see in your shot there. Um, did you have an opportunity? I know you were filming and shooting the senator. Did you have an opportunity to talk to some of the Verizon workers? And did you get a sense if they were supporting Senator Sanders? You know, to be honest with you, we were sprinting behind him and trying to get shots in front of him. So I didn't get to talk to the workers themselves, but they were chanting, Bernie, Bernie. Um, they were really excited for him to be there. And the earlier this morning when he got the endorsement from a local transportation union, um, they have about 42 thousand members here in New York. And so if you can at least get some of those folks out to the polls, um, that'll help him in the New York primary next week. But to be honest with you, I didn't actually talk to the workers who were there. But from the reaction that you can see in this video, they really loved him. So um, I have no doubt that there were supporters in that crowd. Kylie, we've been talking all morning. Obviously, we have uh, the debate coming up tomorrow with Hillary Clinton and really Bernie Sanders trying to pick up so much steam here in New York before the primary next week. What's up, coming up for him later today? Actually, uh, later today, he's headed back to Manhattan. Um, I think he has, you know, some local media hits. He's kind of taking the afternoon um, to rejigger himself and take some time down. He's spent a lot of time in upstate New York over the past few days. And so as we, you know, come into a really, really big rally this evening at Washington Square Park, this afternoon he's going to cool his jets. Um, and then tonight it should be one of his biggest rallies in New York City yet. We don't know exactly how many people will be there, but he was able to pull out over 18,000 people in the Bronx a few weeks ago. So I know that the campaign is hoping that there are going to be more than that at the Washington Square Park rally. And hopefully, Kylie, you will have a brief moment to cool your jets as well because you've been very, very busy over this campaign season. Our CBS News digital journalists, uh, all of them have been doing a tremendous job bringing us the news from the campaign trail. Kylie Atwood, thank you so much, Kylie. Thank you, guys. Bye.